Just waiting on some of our level threes to come back from snack break. The way that our gym works is when you are on level three, that means you already have all of your level three skills. And once you're at that point, then you are allowed to start training level four. So throughout the summer, what we do is we do a warm up and then we do um, a level three skill and then we do a level four skill so that over the summer we're working on the skills that we're going to be competing next season as well as the skills that will hopefully be competing the season after so we try to stay pretty far ahead so if you see their level four skills and they're looking very beginner or elementary that is what is going on are we ready to get started ladies yeah. yes okay let's get on a medium blue or high balance beam and we're going to start careful we're going to start our beam complex and with the compulsory kids we do beam complex with a purpose meaning that um yep yeah, all starting down here girls bear curls with straight legs meaning that when i give them an exercise there is a purpose behind it this is working on covering the ears working on hamstring flexibility and working on foot placement because they're going to do one foot in front of the other. We're working towards having straight legs in these. Straight legs, Mila. Cover the ears. Mila's stepping on her braids. Mila, are you stepping on your braids? All right, I don't need any just yet. Knees should be straight, knees should be straight. Good, Claire is trying super hard over there on the high beam to keep those ears covered. Now one of the things about keeping our ears covered is that in a handstand or when our hands are on the beam, we can still peek through our eyelashes to look at our hands and keep the ears covered. Oh man, she's down. All right, that was a great try. Girls, we're doing a releve walk next, so arms go all the way up, ribs stay in, butt stays tucked under. And we can turn the hands, yep, we can turn the hands in if we want to and push them up. We're doing maximum extension, reaching tall, squeezing our knees every step, Mila. Tall, tall, tall. Yes, I love McKinley's facial expression. She's always so focused. She is a focused performer. Very good job with those releve walks. Girls, next we're going to do the straddle spins sideways. So the releve walks, we did those so that we could practice our handstand shape. These releve sideways spins, we do these to introduce sideways choreography to them because in level four, their choreography is going to be a lot of sideways elements. So we're going to try and stay on, whoa, clear down. We're going to try to stay on releve and we're going to use, we're performing, right? We're performing, so we're gonna keep our chin nice and open, our belly tight, our shoulders down. We don't want our shoulders to get too close to our ears and anything like this, because that's gonna look funny. If we're not in maximum extension, we want those shoulders to be away from our ears, creating a big frame. We want a lot of space around our face. There are times when we're doing maximum extension where we don't want a lot of space near our face, right? When we do maximum extension, but when we're doing things that are supposed to be pretty and present well. We want to create a lot of space over there. All right, next thing that we are going to do is bunny hops. One foot in front of the other. We are on releve and we are pushing through. Pushing through. Let's try to use straight legs, girls. Try to use straight legs. Good, and no sharing feet, right? Let's turn around, let's use the other leg in front Non-dominant leg bunny hops give them a lot of a challenge. This is definitely a challenge. And so if you want them to be comfortable on the balance beam, trying to add in some non-dominant leg bunny hops are pretty good. Good job, girls. Okay, um, let's line up behind the blue balance beam. Step up over here. Hey girls, can we line up behind this side so that the camera can see? Yeah, line up behind this side so that everybody can see. All right, you're gonna do a handstand and I'm going to throw them down onto the balance beam. Whoa, she almost threw me off the balance beam. All right, little baby split. 
Tiny baby split, holding, holding, holding. And I'm gonna push her down, and she's gonna try to stand up, no sharing feet, one foot straight in front of the other. Up tall and finish, good job. All right, come on McKinley, ready? Oh, Neela, you can hop up. Mountain climber, handstand, holding tight, tight, tight. Little baby split, hold it in the little baby split, and step up strong. Good, that is a lunge though. We're gonna do no sharing feet with straight legs. Are you ready, McKinley? Hop over here. Kick up to handstand. Tight, 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 pushing, 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 baby split. Hold, push, 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 and step down. Up, chest up. Save it, girl. Get those feet straight on the balance beam and finish. Good job. All right, Claire? So we do these to help them eventually be comfortable stepping down out of things like back handsprings or in their series. So we start it now. She's knocking me off the beam. Little baby split. Tight, 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 pushing, pushing. Step up, up. Good, ears covered and squeeze that front quad. Finish. Good job. Ready, Cora? Kick up to handstand. Squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. Good, baby split. And step up. Excellent. Anybody else? Am I missing anybody? Girls, can you, someone that's already finished get me a lava mat? Go ahead. Oh. We are doing a cross handstand hold. Thank you, girls. We are really close to Micah, though, and she's about to do a handstand, so let's just hang out right there. Go ahead. Pushing, 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 and tiny split, and step up. Squeeze that knee, finish. Good job. That knee is the culprit, right? Did everybody get a chance to go? Yeah, I do need these. All right, girls, let me look at our plan, see what we're doing today. In the meantime, I want you girls to go sit on the floor beam over there. All right, it looks like we are working on our leap pass for level three today. That's our level three skill. And our handstand hold is our level four skill of the day. So for our leaps, we are going to be working on split jumps, okay? Split jumps are important for leaps because leaps don't only go forwards, they go up as well. And they make a what shape? A spl split at the top, right? So it's important that we continue to work our split jump in order to have a good split leap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lava mat. This is just the non-slip pad from Tumble Track. I like to use these as my lava. I'm going to fold it over just a little bit and put it on the blue balance beam. What you girls are going to do, step arms down, leap arms out, plie. Releve. Okay, because that is our level three leap pass. So, step silly foot, right? Arms down. You're going to bend the leg in order to start the leap. Then arms go out to the side. We leap, put the silly foot behind your good foot, and then releve. Finish, okay? That's going to be on the blue balance beam. On the medium balance beam with me, we're also going to be working on the, the level three leap pass, the exact same thing, but on the medium balance beam with me. And then when we are on the laser beam, we are going to go kick front, kick back, plie, split jump. Okay. Just like we did on floor with the straddle jump. She's referencing on floor we did one leg, other leg, both legs for the straddle jump. So kind of the same concept here on the balance beam for our um, split jumps, okay? I'm gonna give you girls a partner and you're gonna go to the stations and then we'll just rotate through the stations. Does everybody understand the goal of every station? The split jump, the legs should be what? Straight. Should your toes be what? Pointed. Toes should be pointed. And do we swing our chest down when we jump? No, we want to plie with our chest up and split jump with those arms nice and pressed back. Now the shoulders, do we go? No, this is one of the times where we're not doing maximum extension, so we want to create a big frame around our face. Leave a lot of space for your face, right? Okay, 
Let's get one, two. You girls, I want you to start at kick, kick, plie, split jump. You two ladies, I'd like you to start at the lava mat on the blue balance beam. You two ladies are gonna start on the medium balance beam with me. Don't go ahead and get started just yet. I just wanna make sure my camera is adjusted so that we can see everything that is going on. I'm gonna cut you girls out of it, sorry. When you're on the blue beam, then you can, we can see. All right, so we've got these girls over here that are gonna be working on there. Go ahead, you can show them. Kick, kick, plie, split, jump. Very nice, but I'm gonna aim the camera over this way. All right, ladies, we are gonna do just about two minutes per station, okay? Let's not be jumping on those side while we're working. Cora, go ahead and stand up. Okay, let's step with our non-dominant leg or our silly leg. And we go step, arms down. Leap, arms out. Plie, releve. Cora, you look so great doing that. Get your chin up. Oh, not that high, not that high. Just keep it a little bit higher than neutral and we'll make it so pretty and we're gonna squeeze our quads. So right here, we're gonna to try to squeeze our thighs together. We've got a little bit too much distance there. That was really beautiful. Good job, Cora. All right, Taylor, what you got to show me? Okay, Micah, make sure over there on that station, we land the leap and then we put the foot behind it. Plie and releve, right? So what? Yeah, you gotta leap over that lava. Plie, releve, good. And these girls have just started doing leaps, so we're still trying to get comfortable, but I want to see a little bit more confidence. Woo, okay, Michael, what's happening? Where should our chest be at the end of a leap? Wait, should it be here or here? No, you don't have to, it's okay. It's okay, we're just learning, right? All right, go ahead, step arms down. Yep, make sure we plie with this leg when we're getting ready for the leap. McKinley, you gotta leap over that lava, girlfriend. You're standing right in it, it must hurt. Go ahead, step, leap, plie, releve. Good, do you know what that releve is gonna turn into one day? A stretch jump. You're smart, Cora. You got that brain on today, huh? All right, Taylor, step, arms down. Plie and then leap. Ooh, that looked brave, that looked brave. Squeeze it, squeeze it. Good, plie. Okay, whoa. Should a plie have our booty poking out? Or do you think a plie should be butt under? There we go, releve, squeezing. Squeeze the thighs together. This is a gorgeous releve because the front of her ankles are flat. Love that. All right, girls, let's go ahead and switch a little bit. I'm going to get you two girls to go to the laser beam. Make sure you're lining those feet up with the lasers, okay? You two, let's start over here. Girls, we got like two minutes at this station, okay? Step arms down, leap arms out. Don't forget, step arms down, okay? All right, Miss Micah, let's see how we're doing with it. Okay, point that foot. Ooh, Micah, that's getting pretty good. Do you remember my what's the first part? Your chest has to be up and your foot has to point. Those are all really good corrections. Let's make the correction at the beginning though. Where should our arms be when you step? Step arms down. Yeah, let's focus on that one for now. Let's do one thing at a time. Let's see, step arms. I love your focus. What's the first part that I say though? Step arms down. Do you think we can make that correction next time? All right. Let's see, Micah had the exact same correction. I like to start at the beginning when it comes to corrections. So let's start at the beginning. Oh, she did step arms down. That is so good. Now when we do a plie on the balance beam, everybody, we do heel down, butt down, then releve, squeeze. So we go land, heel down, butt down, releve, squeeze. Okay, 
So if that back heels up, we look like little chicken. Yeah, like that. At first, when we step, we're going to step arms down, leap arms out. Yes, ma'am. You can get water. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. Wait a second. We're not a baby. That was a baby leap. I want a big girl leap. Step arms down. Okay, the reason it is being a baby leap is because that is not your good leg. You're probably going to feel a lot better about it if you do it on your good leg, right? Okay, step arms down. Step arms down. Leap arms out. Plie. Uh-oh. Where does the plie happen? In front or behind? Oh. If you knew the answer, what? Kaura says when you land on the laser beam, your body vibrates. Okay, that's, that's funny. Oh, that back foot. Yeah, there we go. Heel down, releve, squeeze. Good. Now, you tell me what's prettier, this or this? Number two, we don't want broken wrists. The judges are gonna be like, oh my gosh, what happened to her wrists? Go ahead, McKinley, last one, then we'll switch. Step arms, uh-huh. <laughs> oh man, try again. Step arms down, leap arms out, plie, releve, yes. All right, go ahead, switch girls. Switch, switch, switch. We got like maybe about two minutes here at this station. Then we got to work on some handstands. Whoop, whoop. All right, show us what you got, Claire. Step arms. Down, leap arms out. Plie, releve. Hey, that was so good. Hey, when we do our plie, can you show me the landing of your leap for me? How do you land your leap? Yeah, now show me the plie, put it behind it. Put it behind it. Whoa! They're crossing, they're sharing. We don't want their feet to share. Pretend your feet are mean kids at school and they don't want to share with each other. Yeah, no sharing. Arms down and then lift into that. What is that releve gonna turn into? It's gonna go leap, plie, stretch dump. Nice, okay. How are you girls doing over there? Are you being focused? You are? Okay. All right, shovel foot. You got to point that thing off the beam. Ooh, Cora. Cora's giving you a little competition over there, Taylor. Step arms down, leap arms out. Please. Hi. <laughs> that was cool. Nice leotard, by the way. All right, step arms down, leap arms out. Please. Rather vey. So I think, Mila, if we got this leg up higher, I'm going to hold on to you. If in the leap this is, it's going to be all forwards. I want you to go up high so that you can land on the way down instead of forwards. So let's bring that leg in the next leap. Up and then down. Okay. Let's see, Miss Claire. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, good. In a plie, should our back heel be up or back heel be down? Down. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You got the answer correct. Hey, Cora, do we step forwards for the plie or what? Oh, we step backwards. Keep that brain on. Keep the brain on even at the side stations. The side stations are the most important. Step, leap. Okay. Watch that foot, keep it straight on the beam. Plie, get back to your leap landing position first. And then show me plie, releve. Excellent, excellent. All righty girls, can we sit on the blue balance beam for me? Let me get some things set up because we are gonna move on to handstand holds next. Hey girls, can you girls help me get some things? Yeah. The block that is underneath the strap bar, I'm gonna need that block. Uh, Taylor, would you help McKinley to get that? I'm gonna 
move our camera a little bit. We're going to put that at, on the floor side of the blue balance beam. So again, these are our level threes. This is off season practice number 22 for them. We've had 22 off season practices after today. And on balance beam today, we're working on the level three lead pass and the level four handstand hold. Perfect girls. We're going to put it right here on the end of the blue balance beam. That is actually all that I need for now. All that I need for now. Okay, let me see one more thing and then I'll explain what we're doing and we will get started. All righty girls, our stations for handstand holds are all going to be focused on maximum extension. What does maximum mean? What is maximum? That's maximum extension. What's maximum? What does it mean if I put the maximum amount of water in a cup? The most, the highest, as much as I possibly can, right? If I say you got to do it to the max, that's all the way. If I put the volume on the max level, would it be quiet or loud? Loud. Loud. So maximum means all the way. Extension means what? Does it mean closed or open? Extension is like tiny, tiny? No. Extension is big? Yeah. Yes. And so if I say maximum extension, it means all the way stretching, right? So go ahead, stand up for me. Show me how you would use maximum extension through your shoulders while squeezing your core nice and tight. You don't have to be on the balance beam, so we don't need, we don't need to add additional difficulty to this. It's hard enough as is, right? This is hard stuff. So cover the ears. In a handstand line, where should we be looking? Oh, at our hands, but we keep our ears covered. Got a little shoulder flexibility stuff here. There we go. Push it. Oh, you're allowed to breathe, Miss Cora. You're allowed to breathe during maximum extension. Yes, good. So all of our stations are going to be focused on maximum extension. Here on the blue balance beam, we're going to do a half handstand. Can you girls come sit underneath this balance beam so that they can see it on the camera? Who's really good at maximum extension? Cora, you are? Are you going to breathe when you do it? Please, come on over here. Okay. Hands on the blue beam, feet on the block. All right, yes, get our hips in line with our shoulders, elbows, and wrists. This is called stacking because we're going to stack all of our body parts on top of each other. So right now, her bottom is not stacked and her shoulders have to come out of line. So we want shoulders in line, pushing, pushing, pushing. Very hard to do. Where should our eyes be? Yes, she's got her ears covered, but her eyes are still on her hands. Pretty hard to do. But that is a good half handstand there. Thanks so much, Cora. Over here, Mila. On the laser beam. Stand over here for me. Turn face this way. Mountain climber. Handstand hold. Okay, we're gonna grab the beam and we're pushing, pushing, pushing through maximum extension and we are trying to balance. Now these are new level threes, so we are still have a ways to go but we want to learn to balance in that handstand. Balance, baby split, baby split, balance, and then step down together. Whoa, we ended up in the lava. We would love to stay on the balance beam because the whole purpose of beam is to balance on the? Beam. Balance on the beam. That's the whole point of balance beam, right? Okay, and with me, we'll have a spotted station for our handstand. Let's get with our partners that we had before. Yeah, Cora and Taylor, you'll start with me. Micah and McKinley, you girls can start on the laser beam. Micah and McKinley are both my Archie back mamacitas. So let's squeeze our core over there and not fall over. That's literally what they are, Trin. Watch them. It means little mamas. All right. Are we ready? Let's go ahead and get started. My mama says I need to um, do some stretches to keep my back straight because my back's always <laughs> Yeah, you're an Archie girl too. Pretty good. All right, are you ready? Ooh, girls, make sure you're looking at the correct part. Okay, that's looking at your hands. Ears covered, look at your hands. 
Archie girls. All right, ready? Mountain climber handstand. Pushing. So when I'm spotting this, I spot first from their thighs. Point your feet, girlfriend. And then if they look good, I move to like their waist. And then if they look good from there, oh man, she's struggling. Then I go to their shoulders and they've got to hold it there. Okay, step back onto the balance beam. Good. Arms, arms, arms. We always want to finish that correctly. Squeezing, up, finish. High five. I need to work on my cartwheels. Your cartwheels? Okay. Did you arch over? I called it. I'm telling you, those two. Something about it. If we're going to engage our core, that means we're going to use it. How do we use our core? Should it feel like we're like bleh or should it feel like we're laughing? Should it feel like you're laughing and that's going to hold it all together. Your core is the glue that holds your handstand together. So you've got to engage it, which means use it. Are you ready? Not really. You're not really ready? Well, we're going anyways. Here we go. Push. Yeah, I know. Taylor always asks me, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Come on, girlfriend. Push, push. Maximum extension. Dun, dun, dun. Baby split. Step it down to the balance beam town. Good. Balance beam town. Walk your hands out a little bit further, Mila girl. Remember the side station, that's the most important station right there because you're stacking all your body parts on top of each other like little blocks. Yeah, but you gotta get your bottom over it. That's the hard part, but keep your shoulders in line. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Pushing, whoa. Just got two fingers on her right now. Da, da, da. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good, step it down. Back to balance beam town. All right, one more Taylor and then we'll switch. Girls, take your time over there. Take your time. Each time you go, think about what happened last time that I could do better this time. Good try, Micah. Good try. All right, we're going to switch. My beam go to laser beam. Laser beam go to blue beam. Blue beam come to me. Are you ready? Handstand time. Okay, we're pushing all the way through, squeezing, pushing, pushing. Yeah, come on girl, come on girl. That's it, that's great, good job. No Archie girls over there. Gotta engage your core, which means use it. It should feel like you're laughing. Pushing through, nice and tall. Great job, so I'm just touching my thumbs to her shoulder blades right now. And that's all she's really needing. Squeezing, squeezing, squeezing your core. Engage your core. Laugh. Got to make it like you're laughing. All right, we're a little archy. Step down onto the balance beam. Squeeze, girlfriend. That's me. Finish. Oh, girl, the whole point of balance beam is to balance on the beam. Not a fall on the floor walking. Pushing through, squeezing. Pushing, 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 taller, maximum, maximum extension. Good try. Yeah, we're getting better at that. We used to really struggle with that. Mila, is this your second one? Claire, have you done two? All right, Mila, last thing, and then we'll switch you on to the next station. Pushing tall, pushing tall. Ah, we're arching, push, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Okay, your hips are too open. Can you make them a straight line? That's better. Step back onto the balance beam. We always want our hips, where are your hips? To be a straight line in our handstands. All right, girls, go ahead and move to your last station. I hope you girls are not Archie onto my head. If you girls land on my head, it might hurt me. You don't want to hurt your coach, right? So what are you going to do to not arch over? Squeeze your bottom, squeeze your body, and do maximum extension. You're right. Oh, yeah, this is good. We are a little crooked. Do you think we can straighten it out? Oh, you felt it. Very good. I'm going to move down to her waist now, and she's going to continue to hold. Uh-oh, 
Uh oh, this is where we start to lose it. We're going to lose it. The leaning tower of McKinley. Step back down onto the balance beam. Stand up, squeezing tight. Whoop. The softball pitch. That's what I call that. All right, ready, Micah? Pushing through, Cora, over here on the blue balance beam. Pushing through. Good job. Good, Micah. Pushing maximum extension. We are engaging our core, which means we're what? We're using it. Good. Step back onto the balance beam. Squeeze the culprit. We're going to just name it the culprit. The culprit. That little right knee of Micah's. It's always bent. All the time. Go ahead. Pushing. Tight. I'm going to move down. You keep holding. Okay, now I'm just on her shoulder blades. She's got to control the rest of her body here. We are the leaning tower of McKinley. The leaning tower of McKinley. Push through your belly. Good. Boop, boop, boop. Good job. All right, Miss Micah girl. Are you girls stacking your bottom on top of your wrist? You gotta stack it up straight. Like if you're putting blocks on top of each other, you don't want them to be falling over, right? Same deal with that. Go ahead, Micah. Oh, wait, Micah. No, no, no. We always start our skills correctly. Thank you. Pushing. I love you're squeezing your bottom. That's good. You're squeezing your core. I love it. I'm gonna move my hands down and you keep holding. Keep holding. Okay, good try. Squeeze the culprit. Squeeze the culprit. There. All righty, girls, that was really good beam work. Let's uh, say bye to the camera. You can go wave and say, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Oh, a little cameo from Crazy P. Yes, make sure you subscribe and put a thumbs up.